This past weekend, the NFL did something absolutely wild, absolutely uh, bonkers, absolutely asinine, depending on who you ask, uh, that I absolutely love. <laughs> they showed on Sunday uh, the, the late game. They showed it on Nickelodeon, and that was a game between the Saints and the Bears. Um, I looked up the ratings. There were 30 million total viewers, and 2 million of those were Nickelodeon. Um, I When I first saw this, that they were doing it, I was ecstatic beyond belief because I wish they would have done something like that when I was a kid. Now, granted, I'm not the type of kid that needed to be prodded or like pushed into liking sports. I grew up playing sports. I loved it. Like there was no issue. I had, would have had no problem watching the game as a child on the regular broadcast. But I will say, I wish they would have done something like this as a kid when I was a kid because watching the I watched the whole game on Nickelodeon. I may have flipped over I did too. to to CBS just to, you know, hear Romo and Nance, but I 98% of the game that was watched in my house was watched on Nickelodeon and there are other adults who have said the same thing. Um they had the slime cannons uh with when there was a touchdown uh Nate Burleson, first of all, Nate Burleson and Noah Eagle, they need to be a regular broadcast booth period cuz they were Pause. awesome. Shout out to Noah Eagle. He came from Syracuse, where I graduated from as well. One of the top journalism programs in the country. Resume. Okay. Um, and I didn't realize Ian Eagle had a son until Sunday. But holy. That, yes. Yo, for, like just a, a sidebar. He, is, he was awesome. Like like I said, him and Nate Burleson need to be a booth by themselves. Anyway. Noah Eagle graduated from undergrad two and a half years ago. Bro. And he... Like I didn't. Put that in the perspective. Like, he's tw- he's not even twenty five, and he's been broadcasting for the Clippers. Just putting that out there. Uh, but the this first job out of college, right? But th- this broadcast was amazing. I, it obviously helps that there's CBS backing, so there's kind of the they kind of know what they're doing, and they kind of just have to change some stuff up. Uh, but the way that they had it marketed for the kids, uh, the bits with Young Sheldon, um, Sheldon you know, yeah. explaining false starts and stuff like that. Um, like I said, the slime cannons. Uh, I wish, oh man, I wish they would have gotten Sean Payton slimed on on live TV instead of on Twitter. That would have been <laughs> right. amazing. Um, I. Do, <laughs> the funniest thing though, the funniest thing from this Sunday, was the fact that Mitchell Trubisky won the MVP award. That might have been the funniest part of the entire thing because I tweeted it when they were saying it. This is why kids don't vote because this, this is, is what this happens. is why this is why kids don't vote because they vote for the quarterback who's absolutely terrible. Um, I if will kids say, voted, Barney would be president. Hey, you know what? He might have been better than the than the outgoing 